Hello friends, how are you? Today I'm going to show you how you can uh, add your site to AHF. So what is AHF? Uh, AHF is a keyword uh, research tool and also keyword monitoring tool. If you search for AHF, you will see that it's an SEO tool for search your monitor traffic, search keywords, analyze your competitors, etc. So uh, if you wanted to uh, track which keywords are ranked for your site in Google, then you can use this tool. This is a, uh, there is a free version and also a paid version, both are available. I use the free version and I think that's good enough for the starter websites or new websites to monitor their traffic, monitor their keywords, monitor their competitors, backlinks, etc. So how can you sign up? You can easily sign up with your Google account. It's, it's free uh, and you can easily add your site. So let me show you how you can sign up for HDF. I am into the HDF's website. You can see my screen. Then I click on sign in and inside the sign in part, there are different options. You can sign in with Google. You can sign in with Facebook. That's it. I sign in with Google. I click here and I think I already created the account previously. So it's shown here. And these are my previous websites, which is showing. Now I'm going to add a new website to a new uh, um, HF account. I go to other one. This is my other AWS uh, HF account. And I'm going to add a new domain here so that I can track the keywords of the domain. So let's click on new project and uh, click here, add manually. Then give the domain name of your project. For me, it's AWS with atik.com. And it automatically checks whether your domain is valid or not, and also it is accessible or not. So click continue. Then there are a few options to verify that you are the owner of the domain. Either you can do that with Google Search Console. You can do it with DNS records. You can do it with HTML files. You can do it with HTML tags as well. So for example, I will use the DNS records because that's easier for me. What I have to do is I need to copy this part and go to my DNS manager, which is Cloudflare and add a record over there for the TXT record. So click add, add sign, and then, sorry, I need to choose here TXT. Then TTL value auto content. I will paste the content from the href that is given here. So now let's save. This has been saved and let's go to href and click here recheck status. That's it. So your ownership is verified. The green sign means that it's all okay and you are good to go to the next phase. I click on continue. Uh, they, are, they have crawlers to crawl your website and get the data and also analyze your content. So for that reason, you need to crawl your website. So you need to set the scheduler. For the frequency, I keep it weekly, start day. It can be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I do it on maybe Sunday because Sunday is weekends. And then it's good because then you don't have to, uh, it's not a public day. For my website, uh, normal weekdays, there is a lot of traffic, but on the weekends, there is not much because I put contents for the technological tips and uh, tutorials on my website. So a lot of people who do their job on Monday to Friday, they search in Google and they are looking for some solutions like how to install SSL certificate on CentOS, how to install SSL certificate on AWS, how to create a uh, new um, S3 bucket, etc. And that's why my traffic are a bit higher on these Monday till Friday. And Saturday, Sunday, my traffic is a bit low because this is weekend and nobody searches for technological tips on weekends because they just want to watch movies, want to travel, visit outside, friends, family, go to restaurants, etc. 
So for me, Sunday is a good day, but I don't know what your niche or your website is. If your website is more visited on the weekends, like you have a website for entertainment or other information, then probably they are visited more on weekends. So choose the dates that is suitable for your website and then click next. So um, it is now adding the website to my uh, HDF dashboard and the website is added. Here you can see, I click here for the uh, domain rating, click to this link. And it shows the detail of that domain. So for example, I have a domain rating of 44 and you are a rating of 23. Domain rating is, is a kind of like a metric that uh, tells us that what is your domain is uh, <clears throat> ranked on different kind of criteria set by href. They usually rank with zero to hundred. So the best websites that is best websites means they are best for SEO and all those things. They have a higher ranking on 90 or 95 and the new websites that is just created, they are usually ranked on zero or 10. So in between 40 to 60, these are mid-range websites. That means their domain rating is mid-level. They, they are not startup, but they are not very experienced in their authority as well. For example, if you check Amazon, their rating is, I think, 92. If you check Facebook, their rating is 99, 93 or 94, something like this. So 44 domain ranking, that's fine. And you can also see backlinks. Backlinks are actually referring other domains who's checking or who's pointing your site. For example, there are 66 domains who's uh, actually have some links, which is referring to awsatic.com. This usually happens that if someone is found my tutorial is helpful or my video is helpful, they share into their website with a link and that is counted as a referring domain or backlink. And organic keywords, that is 90. If you click here, that shows that how many keywords are ranked into Google and what is their position and what are the elements over there. So that being said, uh, this is how we can add a new domain to uh, Ahref. I hope if you have a website, then please add that to Ahref. It helps you to track the keywords. It helps you to see how many backlinks you have. And also you can see your competitors and how their backlinks are. And then you can also reach out them for adding a backlink. So that's it, a small video for me today. I hope this helps you. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate if you do that, that really helps me to grow my channel and reach out more people using the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.